all right guys so in this video i'm gonna show you two different techniques to blend colors together i already have a video on how to blend colors in the sketchbook but i wanted to make a new one new updated one which was kind of short and straight to the point so as you guys can see i already have two circles so in the first one i'm just going to show you the first way first technique to um, blend colors together so here what you do is you have your base ready so let's just say you are painting a portrait and the base skin color is ready with you and you want to add contours or shadows or highlights so what you would do is you will take a brush and just lay down that color wherever you want to add that color like i am doing here in the video so i'm just adding this color um at the edge of the circle so let's just say i want to add shadow at the right side and a little bit of highlight at the left hand side of the circle so you just lay down the color and be really really harsh with it you don't have to worry about it you can be harsh with it and you can use any brush for that matter it doesn't really it doesn't really matter okay now you want to pick smudge brush now mind you you want to pick smudge brush and not colorless brush again gonna link a video which shows the difference between the two set of brushes so here we are going to be blending with smudge brush making sure the opacity is really low as you guys can see smudge brushes basically moves the pixels so when i go from yellow to skin the yellow colored pixels move over to the skin colored pixels so you have to keep that in mind that's how these smudge brushes or blending brushes work now what i I, what I usually do with smudge brushes is that I usually just increase their size as that gives me a better control over the brush. Now as you guys can see on the screen that I am putting on the right hand side, I am going in this really circular motion and I am really really gentle on the screen. I'm really light handed about it, I'm not putting too much pressure onto the screen. So that's how you want to do that and i also just went ahead and increased the size of the brush a little bit more and i went over it once again in a circular motion now we are going to be doing the same thing now as you guys can see how that brush moved the pixels that brown pixels all right that's how these work again going in this circular motion as you guys can see on the right hand side screen and that's how i usually blend it just make sure the opacity of the brush is really low all right because uh if you increase the opacity of the brush it's just gonna you know just gonna go wrong i don't know how, how else to explain it just give it a try you know you'll see for you'll see for yourself so again i just increased the size of the brush to the max and went over the whole circle like that and as you guys can see the colors are nicely blended and that's how you do it it's really really simple now i'm going to show you the next technique which is blending colors using just the brush so i'm using airbrush i believe and as you guys can see i just increase the size of the brush and i started shading not on the circle but on the white part or on the canvas outside and still i was able to add color to the circle in a way where it didn't need any blending or it didn't need any blending tool to blend it because i was so light and gentle with the brush that it was just adding the color in a very light and gentle way and that's the another technique i usually blend my colors using just soft air brush or whatever brush i'm using i usually use soft air brush to do so because again these are soft <laughs> so yeah i mean and uh, that's how you do it and it, as you guys can see the results are pretty good it's a little subtle as compared to the previous one but it still looks good it still looks effortless and very natural especially if you're painting skin uh, this kind of shading is gonna look really really good so yeah that's how you blend colors on sketchbook these are two techniques that i usually use and you guys can see the difference between the both uh, the first one is a little too prominent and the second one is a little uh, softer and gentle. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel.